Two cancer immunologists, Dr. James P. Allison of the United States and Professor Tosuku Honjo of Japan, were named joint winners of the inaugural Tong Prize in Biopharmaceutical Science. Their discoveries of T-cell inhibitory molecules have established immunotherapy as a promising new hope for cancer treatment. It's more adaptable, more plastic, more able to change than a cancer cell. It's the immune system because that's how it's designed. The purpose for the immune system is to protect you against anything that nature throws at you. The novel approach interferes with the ability of cancer cells to suppress the immune response, thus enhancing the ability of the host immune system to inhibit cancer cell growth. The immune system also has an axle and a brake. And the brake, there are two kinds. One is CTL4, which Jim Allison is working on, and the PD-1, and that these two brake control molecule is uh, now the major power for the treatment of cancer. Dr. Allison received his PhD in biological sciences from the University of Texas at Austin. His determination to become a scientist was spurred by his mother's death from cancer. He was appointed the director of the Cancer Research Laboratory at UC Berkeley and the chair of the immunology program at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. Since 2012, he has become the chair of immunology and the director of the immunotherapy platform at the MD Anderson Cancer Center. When I started college, I wanted to be a doctor, so I started, started in pre-med. Uh -huh. But I realized very quickly, a doctor's job, a physician's job, is to be right. And to be right, all, you know, you don't want to be wrong because you got a lot of responsibility. And I just didn't think that was for me. I'd rather do something where I could you know, think about something and be wrong most of the time and still, still do, and hopefully uh, yeah. every now and then figure out something, hopefully something important. Dr. Ellison spent 30 years seeking for an answer. His pioneering discovery combined with Professor Honjo's remarkable research marks a revolutionary achievement in the battle against melanoma. What we know now in combining these two drugs given together it's not 20% plus 25% gives 45%, it's 20% plus 45%. It looks like it gives 90%. Professor Tasuku Honjo received his MD from the Faculty of Medicine and PhD in Medical Chemistry from Kyoto University. He was Fellow of Carnegie Institution of Washington and Visiting Fellow and Associate of the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development in the USA. Professor Honjo's non-oncology background surprisingly worked in his favor in discovering a new therapy to cure cancer. I came totally different direction. Yes. I was uh, educated as a molecular biologist okay. and then w moved into the immunology field. So, in a way, my mind is not that much preoccupied, pre-existing concept. Yeah or the exactly. previous uh, failure or the yes. success of the people in this particular field yeah. of the cancer. Yeah. So I was kind of naive. Cancer has become mankind's number one enemy by ruining countless precious lives. The Tang Prize in Biopharmaceutical Science recognizes research that leads to significant advances towards human welfare. The distinguished contributions of this year's recipients have brought hope to the hopeless and continual impact will be seen in the years to come. Their achievements and dedication embody the quintessential spirits of the Tong Prize.